Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my Infernum playthrough. And uh, I want to fight the King's or a uh, Slime God. Not King Slime. I already fought King Slime. I have no minions out. <laughs> There the other one is finally. Wow, we are shredding the uh, Ebonian one. Yep, he's dead. And there goes the Kremlin one. And then we actually have to fight the Slime God himself, huh? Go figure. Oh, he's dead. I didn't even realize he was that far down. That was actually a pretty easy fight. I was actually one minion short the whole time, too. Only had four guys out instead of five. Alright, well, we got the plushie. Got our relic. Got our other relic. Uh, we got some purified jam from Calamity Demutation. He's immune to all damage and most debuffs for five seconds. Got Electrolyte Gel Pack. That buffs our adrenaline now. Got Stato Gel. We've got Purified Gel. This is what I've been waiting on. That's the good stuff. Hey, guide. Come here. Oh, for... Okay. Are you just going to randomly spawn now? Is that what's going on? Where did the Kremlin one go? Like, his boss bar is completely gone, even. And the Ebonian is just, like, not hanging out at all. He's... Guys, latch, would you? There we go. What is this guy doing? <laughs> Seriously. Okay, well, they just despawned. They just kept running away from me, too, which is really weird. Although the random spawning, I... Yeah. Not an, not a good thing. I, I did not like that at all. Alright, so... Well, we can make the Night's Edge now. Uh, jelly Charged Battery, which is the upgrade of our Voltaic Jelly. Statagel Armor. I don't know if I'm going to bother with that or not. Do need a Static Refiner. Zen Potion, Zerg Potion. We get the Gel Pick, which is 105% pickaxe power. Average Speed. Average Speed. It's got one point higher speed than the Reaver Shark does. But, uh... Well, the Light Bone Pickle is 15 speed. But, hmm, it mines a hell of a lot quicker. Knight's Ray, Fractured Arc, Bloody Blade. Eye of Night, here we go. This is what I want here. I think I need an Imp Staff for that, though, don't I? Do I have any Hellstone? 
I don't think actually I've mined any hellstone yet, have I? Oh, no, I, I did. <laughs> mine like 21 pieces. That is not enough. Well, down we go to the underworld. It's just going to take forever to get down here. I need to actually build a house for her. Like the Goblin Tinkerer and whatnot down here somewhere. Oh, get out of here. Here we go. Finally. One thing I did manage to do uh, between episodes as well is I managed to finally get all the bits together for the Terra Spark boots. Namely, I think I needed a Lava Charm and an Obsidian Rose. Which, there are crafting recipes for both, so... Oh, there's an ancient hell forge. That's kind of cool. Oh, did I get invisibility potions? I did. Get rid of those. I really should have done my inventory before I come down here. Oh well. Uh, 78 Hellstone. That's enough to make an amp staff. But I should probably get some more just to have. Not to mention, I can use this to upgrade my storage system even further. There's a shadow chest finally. Okay, cool. Um, doorway here. What do we got? Flame lash, slice of hell cake, and I don't need those or that. Guess I'll take those because I already have it, but. Yeah, how much health am I at? 343, yeah, that's probably good for now. And these I actually want to keep on me. Now, I did go ahead and make a spinal tap, and it doesn't match up to the prison break. It's a little bit faster. Shorter range and lower damage, though. Oh, and we did get the uh, Crimson staff as well, but me. All right, we'll put that away. Uh, let's go to summons. Actually, no, first I need to make hellstone bars. So, bar. 114. And then we'll go to here. Make ourselves the imp staff. There it is. And what am I missing for the eye of night now? So I've got... Got a Belladonna. Imp staff. Uh, necro necro osteocytes.
Oh, I need my Valley Feeder. That's what it is. And it came out with Godly. I'm just going to stick with Godly on that, I think. Alright, Battle Feeders. You guys did a great job, but uh, you're getting replaced now. So yeah, they orbit the enemy and then shoot curse plane at it, so. Not bad. I mean, it's... Not great against crowds, but it's really strong against a single target. Alright, so the other thing I need is... Put that in here. Let's go to our accessories then. And... A jelly charged battery. Did not get a forge on it. Oh well. Oh, we can actually make magma stone. Hmm. Let's go. Cool. Lava proof fishing hook. Yes, please. I'll go ahead and grab that. And... I'm missing a couple of things for making the Ankh charm. Uh, we've got the counter curse mantra, we've got medicated bandage, we have armor bracing. So those are combined ones there. Then we have a trifold map and a blindfold. Uh, I don't remember what combines with a trifold map. But the blindfold combines with uh, reflective glasses, or whatever they are, mirror shades or whatever. Oh no, the, the mirror you get from Medusa, which becomes the reflective glasses. Alright, um, let's see. Anything else? What are you anyway? Oh, okay. Slime Deity Soul. Thought that was a mana polarizer at first. Ninja Slime God Core orbited by his guards. Okay, so I need to reforge that now. Dash, running... Yeah, that's basically going to be it, I think. I mean, I do have the Pygmy Necklace, but I don't really want to swap anything out for that. Once I get decent wings, then yeah. But, uh... Right now, I need the bundle of balloons. Just for the extra mobility. Uh, let's go boarding, I guess, right? D6 defense? Sure, why not? Yeah, 6 defense from the Obsidian Shield, that is... Kinda good. Not gonna lie. There we go, there's our 5 of those guys out. 1, 2... There's the Ebonian. And the, the Crimulon just went away again. It's like he just out and out despawned or something.
Okay, now... <laughs> and it just happened again. They just despawned. What is going on with the Slime God now? Like, the first time I fought him, no problems at all with him. After that, he just... turned into a jerk. Uh, let's see. Probably get away without... Actually, you know what? I can combine this and this together. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's like lava proof or something, right? Lava proof tackle bag. There we go. Sweet. Next upgrade is going to be what? Ah, I need Maul's Cusk. Okay. Alright, so options right now are basically either Wall of Flesh or I go to the Abyss. Alright, well here we are in the Abyss now. How the hell did a fallen star get all the way down here? It must have hit just perfect. <laughs> just like threaded the needle. Heck, Moray Eel, huh? Where are you from? Alright. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Strange Orb. Miniature Ocean Spirit Light Pet. What in the... What's with that freaking seaweed there? Okay, if I go back up into the bottom layers of the Sulphur Sea, as opposed to the Abyss, will my oxygen refill? Yes, it will. Okay. And... Toxic catfish? Sure, why not? You know, I kind of miss the little rooms with the treasure chests in them. It's a little easier to find the boxes. There we go. Now we're actually in the abyss proper. Is that an ore fish all the way there? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's not mess with that. And the Abyss generation is vastly different than what I'm used to. Oh, can't mine through that, whatever it is. Oh, that's right. One of the mods um, makes it. I can't. Is it Catalyst, maybe? Or is it Infernum? One of the two. Uh, makes it so that the underground or the underwater boxes do not generate in the abyss. So, yeah, kind of a point to be down there.
So those are all shots from the Houndius Shootius. And since they can't actually hurt the critters, they just keep firing and homing on them, and yeah. Alright, so yeah, that's the thing. Um, I think there is a way to craft stuff, though, still. Or not. There's... I'm just going to have to go fishing. Give me sulfur crates. I got an abyssal amulet. Okay. There we go. Sulfur's crate. And nada. Okay. Alright, so I did a bunch of fishing and I managed to get the herring staff, which. It's going to be helpful anyway. Well, maybe helpful. I don't know. Alright, so the Ionite is doing right around 400. That is not the greatest. There we go. And we have five little packs of herring. Yeah, the Ionite is still doing more. But I may end up using the Herring Staff in the Wall of Flesh fight because they pierce and it'll help with the Hungry. They nerfed the Herring, so, I mean, they really did. It used to be, well, you get three per minion slot now, but that minion slot just counts as one minion anyway. It's just a graphical thing, so you have more minions flying around. It used to be half a slot per herring, and they used to do a decent amount more damage. Yeah, it's 25. Uh, I think base with no damage modifiers is 15. It used to be 20. So, like, they nerfed 25% of it, which is just not great. Alright, and let's go ahead and put this away. And I did get the Slime Puppet Staff. Because I had a blood moon. And during that blood moon, a freaking slime god spawned in three times. It's like, pets not keep doing this crap. Oh, as I get further along into the game, it's going to be less and less of an issue. I do need to get some more NPC houses built too. Because I've got two NPCs waiting to move in. The mechanic is still hanging out in the dungeon. And uh, we've got the bandit kind of queued up and kind of waiting for us. Alright, so if I go all the way to the left, I should come across out the uh, uh, brimstone crag. Of course, this is a good sized world, so. It could take a little while to get there. You know, unfortunately, traversing hell is usually not all that bad, so. I 
Yeah, I'm right here. I'll pop this one. A wing. All right. And demonic's not bad. Uh, there's another one, right? There's two more in this house. Another Hellwing. Okay. There's another one down there. Four shadow chests. Yeah. In this one building. And Sun Fury. Okay, I don't need that. Is there a number five in here somewhere? It does go all the way to the bottom of the world. Don't see one down here at all. Oh, we got a health forge over there, but that's... Yep, there's another chest up on top, though. And there's another Sun Fury. I don't need that. Or those. Come on, let me up. Yep, brimstone crags. All right, cool. The and yep, there's always one of these chests at one end of the bridge or the other. DPS on a despair stone. That's some pretty high defense. Okay, I want that. Alright, it goes all the way to the edge of the world. So... Let me try out this thing. Okay, hello. no longer able to be hurt. Ow. Seriously, I have him down to 20%. And he's dead. I did not think it would be that easy. Uh, let's see. Okay, 
Um, I don't need that either. Roll relic. I can buy those, so. Would you? The thing just needs to go away. Give me a five minutes. Oh, hey, look, it's an idol. Oh, the Verdant. I haven't even, like, checked out the Verdant in quite a while. But we got Cobalt and Palladium now. Hey, Demon Heart. Extra accessory. Sorcerer Emblem. Hey, we got the Firecracker, though. We'll switch that out, I guess. Oh yeah, I got the slime pump staff, never even used it. Or the assault rifle, we got the own hammer. Don't really care about that. And we did get the Blackhawk remote. I like the idea behind these, it's just their rate of fire is horrible. I'm just gonna put it away. Need that, that, or those. All right, let's go check the Verdant out. Also, let's talk to our witch doctor here. I do not see the bewitchment table or bewitching table for sale. You're now selling fire blossom and planter boxes. Okay. A lot of stuff, actually. Okay, let's go to the Surface Verdant, which I believe is over this way. Yeah, it's right there. Well, that was a Garden Gnome. He didn't last very long, though. Why do I always run into these huge pools of water when I'm doing this? That's gotta drain somewhere. It's usually in spots I don't want it to drain. Oh, hey, look, it's my tunnel. Usually if you dig it straight down from the surface burdened. We're not even in the jungle, though, right now, so. It usually drops you almost right on top of Apotheosis. Did I find him yet? Don't think I did in this playthrough. Found the temple. Yeah. Oh look. Palladium. Cobalt. Let me start helping myself to some of this stuff, I guess. I hear verdant music now, though. Okay, cool. So it was just deeper. Forty-five cobalt ore so far. Okay. Hey, 
Hey, there's Apotheosis. Hey, buddy. Remember to breathe. Keep the plants thriving. And return to me once you've slain the Great Eye. <laughs> yeah, wow. Find each other in good spirits soon. The eye is felled. Thank you. Take this trinket. Return to me once you've beaten the brain. Okay. Zip a vine. Let's use it to build a vine. Vine works like rope. Be used when you open space. Both of them being destroyed. Okay, cool. Here, let me. So he's going to give me some stuff here, so I need to make make some room. Gratitude for defeating the brain. Our next request: fell the great skeleton near the dungeon. Here's some of my old gear with some changes. Route in boots. 80 of these, huh? Equipable, one defense. Spreads leafy platforms automatically under the player when worn. Uses a single lush leaf per platform placed. Needs water to continue working. The dungeon souls are partially freed. Okay. You're deserving. Take these, our favorites. Yellow bulbs. Okay, nice. Now find the wall in the infernal internal depths. Remove it. But take all the time you need. Growth isn't instant. Purple Spirit has been released. With us more free, you'll begin to see a couple of changes. You might have already noticed a couple. Anyhow, as thanks, take this. I I don't need it anymore. And while you're here, know that I will reward you for defeating more evils. So check in sometimes, hmm? Okay. So the last thing we got was yellow bulbs, which is awesome. And then the Heart of Growth. Permanently increases minion damage by 5%. Don't be used once per person, unfortunately. It is shimmerable, though. Hmm. I wonder what it shimmers into. I need to find the shimmer still, actually. All right, so head back, talk to our guide. Yellow bulbs have been waiting for these guys, actually. Cloud Sprout, Gem Flower, teleports you to the Apotheosis, so that's kind of cool. And it doesn't say consumable on it, so... Unlimited uses. Growth Leggings. Growth Plants as you walk, okay. Growth Headdress, gives off a small amount of light. Chest Piece. And there's the Apotheotic, or Apotheotic Chest Piece. The Growth Set is what I want to make. Gonna need more materials from from the burden though. Uh, let's just put that away for now. And right, so let me look at what do we need, right? Um, I just need pink petals. And I need hardy vines, but I can make those, I guess, probably out of the lush leaves. Need red petals. I need light bulb. Okay. Alright. There's a thing, the teleporty thing, right? I don't know what it's called off the top of my head now, though. It is a gem flower. Can I make that thing right now? Hopefully. That'll save me some time. Nope. What am I missing? Green crystal. Hmm. Yep. Nope. I haven't got any of that. So what I could do, though, is just teleport back to here.
that's how far it's flooded up here. Dang. Light bulb. Pink petals. More pink. Okay. Grab some more of this lush leaf as well. on down. Oh, there's some red. Oh, these little guys are cool. Passion flower bulb. Right click to open. And yeah, there are all sorts of fun stuff you can get out of this. And you can pick up the actual sprout and take it back with you. Now there is like a ready-made house somewhere in the Verdant as well. have to, you know, find it somehow. And this burden seems pretty small. Usually Apotheosis is like right in the middle of the burden, and uh, he can be a little bit of a problem to track down sometimes, but I wonder if he's kind of off to the side in this one. Oh, look, there's a mine shaft. Yep, it's the same one that we encountered in the jungle. Oh, ash flower. Oh, my inventory's full. Nail shells, huh? Uh, I don't need blink root seeds or stone. I'll take that though for now. And I'll take the beehive. Alright, so yeah, there's apotheosis there. this house at? Well, there's the temple. So the temple may have overridden the house. It would be a shame, because it's handy having a decent-sized pre-made structure, because there is a verdant pylon, so... Okay, let's just go all the way to the bottom. Yep, and now we're back into jungle proper. How far does this thing go? Oh, that far. Okay. And up to here. Okay. That covers a good chunk of the map, really. I 
I've not seen green crystals yet either. I didn't mean to drain that, but oh well, I did. Alright, come on. What do we got around here? Yeah, not seeing it. Dang it. I'll have to look around more off camera, I guess. Yeah, I'm thinking the the temple may have filled it, though. Oh, well. all right. Hulu, what do you got? Here, you can have that and that for now. Uh, really nothing new. Okay. Petals, light bulb, light bloom, increases light regeneration when in light. The stronger the light, the stronger, the larger the increase. Let's sleep wand. Magic infused wisp plant. Speed up all natural growth in an area by a dramatic amount. That thing's actually kind of cool. Expert guide to plant fiber cordage. Okay. Hap sprout. Instantly grow all herbs, harvest them, and replant them. Single use item, but still, I mean. What am I missing now for the growth set? Party vines, okay. But it says I can make those. Get like 30, I guess, for now. Growth leggings, growth headdress, growth chest piece. So we're sitting at 58 armor somehow and five minion slots. 58 armor, seven minion slots. Would you quit trying to kill the butterfly, guys? I mean, they are very helpful for letting me know that there's a uh, critter nearby for me to grab, but... Yeah, it doesn't make much of a difference with the herring. Not in the DPS, anyway. I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, probably going to end up going and doing some more mining. I may have enough for... Yeah, I should have had enough for a cobalt pick, right? Yeah. Yeah, one takes 10 bars. That's not bad, so... really know that I would need to get more cobalt and palladium for, but I might as well grab it, right? But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.